What's going on guys, it's Gizmodict here with a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to install Android 4.4 KitKat on your Galaxy S GT i9000. A few months back, I made a video about installing Android 4.3 on the Galaxy S and it received a great response. So I made this video to help you guys enjoy the latest version of Android on your device. As you can see here, my Galaxy S1 runs on the stock Gingerbread 2.3.6 firmware by Samsung. I have rooted it and installed Clockwork Mod Recovery. But to install the 4.4 ROM on your device, you should be rooted and you should install a custom recovery like Clockwork Mod. Then you need to download the latest build of the Cyanogen Mod 11 ROM and Google Apps for KitKat. I will link the official thread of this ROM in this video's description down below the like button. All the download links are on that page. And currently while making this video, this ROM is only supported by Samsung Galaxy S GT i9000. So please verify the model number before starting the process because you might break the device if it is not for you. So after you have downloaded the ROM and Android 4.4 KitKat Google Apps, transfer it to your phone. Back up your contacts, messages, SD card data, etc. and switch off your phone. Wait until it vibrates. Now press the volume up button, the home button and the power button all together. This will make the phone boot into the recovery. So as you can see, I have booted up into Clockwork Mod Recovery. You can create an Android backup here if you want to, but I am going to straight away flash the ROM. First, you need to scroll down to Wipe Data slash Factory Reset and click the power button. This step will take a while, so please be patient. After it's done, go down and select Wipe Cache Partition. This step is quick. And once it's done, you need to go under the Advanced tab and click on Wipe Dalvik Cache. This is pretty fast too and after you have done all these 3 steps, it's time to flash the ROM now. So to flash the ROM, you need to go down to the option which says Install Zip from SD Card. Then select Choose Zip from SD Card. Now this will open your SD Card folder. I have placed the ROM and the Google Apps in the root of the SD Card. So now I'll go down and select the ROM file. So as you can see, the ROM file is named CM11 2013 11 18, which is the latest build at the time of installing this video. So click on it and install it and wait for a few minutes till the process happens. You need to be very patient because your phone might reboot a few times while installing the ROM. So after the ROM has been installed, you will now get a blue colored recovery. Again, go to install zip, choose zip from SD card and navigate to the place where you have saved the KitKat Google Apps. Install the G apps. As you can see here, I have the KitKat G apps and now I'll install it. I am uh, emphasizing on KitKat G apps because there might be Jelly Bean Google apps too, but you need to install the ones which are required for KitKat. After the G apps have been installed, come back to the main menu and select Reboot System Now. So now the phone will boot into KitKat. Since this is the first boot, it will take around 5 to 10 minutes till the process completes. So after about 5 minutes, my phone has booted up and now I am going to set it up and return back. So I have fully set up my phone now and finally we have Android 4.4 KitKat running on our old Galaxy S1. As you can see, all the KitKat features are available on the phone. So if I swipe left on the home screen, I will have access to Google Now menu. And if I say OK Google, the Google search will pop up. It is really amazing. Jumping into about phone, you can see that I am running Android 4.4 KitKat and we also have the nice KitKat Easter Egg 2. The ROM is still in its alpha stage and once a perfect release is out, I will make a review on it too. As of now, all the basic things like camera, data, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, video etc are working very well. The phone feels smooth too. I also have the transparent KitKat like status bar. To get it, you need to change the low RAM value to false in your build.prop which can be done by downloading build.prop editor from the Google Play Store. Refer to the official ROM thread which is given in this video's description for more info. So this concludes my tutorial about installing Android 4.4 KitKat on the Galaxy S GT i9000. Drop in your comments and queries in the comment section and do appreciate my effort by liking and sharing my videos. Also, for more such videos and other tech related content, do subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's free and it only takes a few seconds. 
You can also follow me on my social media for more awesome content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.